Singing speech. Singing is part of the development of music. Also, it is an act of producing music from your voice, which is the opposite of speech. It began in the early 1600s with the opera called Orfeo, written by Monteverdi. There are many types of singing style which began to build up between the 1600 and 1750. It began with the style of Baroque, which is a style of a pure sound with a vibrato. As years passed in the year between 1750 and 1800, the other style of singing was developed, called the Classical Era. In the years 1800 to 1900, the style of Romanticism was developed, because this is where people sang with a lot of drama and emotion, and this is now sung with vibrato. From 1900 and so on, the style of a or opera was developed which was the style of screaming, shouting, whispering, singing. Singing happens around the world. This was discovered by the black American culture where they always sang in their church. Singing can be done a cappella, which is without the company of the music. And also it can be done by singing along with music, whether it is with a track in a CD or a live band. Singing can be practiced in karaoke and in everywhere. The term vibrato means the musical effect which is produced by the singing or the musical instrument which is regulating the pitch and it is used to add expression and vocal light to the singing. The equipment that are involved in singing are microphones, cables, musical band to create music, and recorders. It can be said with enough detail what set of clothes needs to be worn for singing, because it really depends on the song you are going to sing or interpret. For example, when singing a pop song, singers either wear dresses, miniskirts, browsers, etc. It also depends on what clothes the singer feels more comfortable to wear. Singing was made known to me through a TV show, which depicts competition between people around the world studying singing in La Academia. It is where I have saw this competition for years. The things that attract me from this type of show were that you can produce CDs and became famous. There are lots of performances in this activity, which some of them are the ones I admire from around the world, who are Paulina Rubio, Thalia, Enrique Iglesias, Alejandro Sanz, and Ana Bárbara. However, the singers I admire from the TV show are Victor, Nadia, and Estrella, who are the first generation which began the reality show. From the last generation which finished this reality show are Fatima, Matias, Marifer, Esteban, Dazael, Cynthia, and Perla. The people that have achieved their career and have produced lots of CDs are the ones who are in the first generation. Although they are achieving what they have promised in their whole life, they haven't finished this step yet. The stages that a singer should follow are first of all to enter a school where teachers singing and dancing because for the career of singer you need to know how to make your voice to be heard, how to sing the higher notes, how to sing and dance, dance at the same time, etc. Then you need to practice it every day, which takes you to enter auditions, competitions, 
where you will know if your final decision is to become a singer. The skill that is used in this activity is to know how to sing a song without the lyrics in front of you and how you need to interpret it which makes people know that you are not imitating. Every part of your body should be needed because your voice should be heard and you need to be able to dance as you are singing. When a singer sings a song, it produces feedbacks of her or his memories from the past. For example, they can sing the song of my heart will go on, which makes a feedback about the love that is felt when it is sung and it is transmitted to the audience what she had feel about that love. When I was at the age of 10 years old, I began to practice singing every weekend with some recorded music because I like singing and dancing. However, when I began to go to high school, I leave it because of the homework, projects, etc., which school gave us. Since then, I have not been able to practice singing. In addition, competitive singing occurs not only in individuals but also in groups because when working the singing in groups is excellent than working individually because they put more effort than usual to give up an emotive actuation. In addition, to conclude, I can say that this activity is very interesting and exciting because singing is where most people transmit a background story about their life which can be love, sad and sorry and it is where you can express all the feeling that you have through the song. Also I can say that there are many types of song that people can sing such as pop, rock, ranchero, classic, etc. Thank you.